This is Ogras and Key Bioli. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly. But this is the reason why I keep my deli, really. This is what I wanted to see. It's very busy. Wow. Fuck me. That is amazing. Effectively, it used to be used to store water for the area. Oh, this is beautiful. Built in the 14th century. Wow, it's just... It's even better than I imagined it in my head. Still some water in as well. Cheer for the pigeons. It's got. A s s well, I don't know if you can see it. There's a slight smog hanging over the city. It's not good for your breathing at all, <coughs> as you can tell. Um, I know it's supposed to be really bad in summer, but it's February and it's really bad. Um, I. I dread to think how people even manage to breathe in summer with the smog and the air's a lot stiller. It must be horrendous. Whoever thinks like traffic or pollution doesn't affect your breathing, come to Delhi. It'll soon change your mind. This is another site I wanted to visit. Um, Janta Manta, it's called. Uh, which I, I think roughly translates to instruments for measuring heaven built in 1723 and yeah these were all it's an astrological site for measuring the universe it's quite impressive I and mean, it can't be very good now because so much smog I thought that were a block. It actually isn't. There's steps and curves and arches. Even in this this day and age, they're making science beautiful. And this we use to measure the sun and other stars and the sitting there and plot it by looking through these many windows and I believe they were spot on with a lot of them quite impressive isn't it and there's another one as well there just the same thing obviously a different position so measures differently It's quiet, reasonably quiet in here as well. Not many people, but it's it's hassle-free. Quite nice. I like it. It's, it's really strange. All this history and skyscrapers dotted around on the outskirts. I suppose that's that's everywhere nowadays. But at least they have kept the site. I'm in a place called Guadra Suri, 
Bangra Salib or something to that effect and I finally found somewhere where I fit in with my headscarf I, I look like everyone else now this is quite a beautiful place look at all those purple headscarves I mean orange I think it's supposed to be famous because Richie Sunak visited here when he was in one of the summits. It's quite beautiful when people, it's got loads of fishing. Oh, this is New Delhi Station. Quite a big place. That's what you call dedication. It's carrying, I don't know, 20 maybe steel rods right around his bike, middle of the road. Matt Katub Mignon, Mignon, which is on the outskirts of Delhi. This is a, it's quite a famous archaeological site. It's quite pleasant around here. Look how intricately designed they are. I know my, my throat's a mess. The pollution is so bad in Delhi. It's basically ruined my throat. Made me really sick and ill. Pollution is ridiculous. I've got a mask on that's helping. But I suspect most of the damage has been done. Anyway. Got all neatly carved. It goes all the way around. Now there's the big boy. Probably can't see because of the sun. <laughs> to be honest, it's quite an impressive sight, really. It's quite large. On the other side, the really ornate pillars. This is the temple grounds. It's called Lotus Temple. Don't take your genius to work out why it's called Lotus Temple, does it? It's quite beautiful. I mean, as far as temples go, it's reasonably new. Um, it was completed in November 1986. It opened on the 24th of December 1986. Um, I think it's supposed to be. 70 meters and this is all might look pretty it's all concrete it's quite impressive a lot of people complain Indian railways this is the metro in New Delhi it's quite a modern train this is actually one of the MGs I've ever seen one of the trains but you see it's quite modern Quite impressive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 